One thing you may have noticed about the syntax of writing to a file is that it's very similar to the syntax that we've used when we're going to write to the user, when we're going to show them some message on the command line, and later on that will apply to use in CGI scripting for the web as well, once we get to that point. But the function that we use is the same. It's the print function. Now, this is not an ambiguity in the meaning of the print function. What it's implying is that every time we do a print, we're actually printing to a specific file handle. Now, this may stretch the definition of what we think of as a file handle if we've only been thinking of it in terms of files. But it actually applies to other kinds of input and output as well. Let's have a look at what happens here when we open up the file handle for writing to file.txt. Now, whereas we could simply do a print function to the, the file file handle, we can do this another way. We can do this by using the select function to select the file as our default output file handle. What that means is when we next use a print function, this is actually now printing to the file because we've selected the file as our default output file handle. Now this may seem slightly alarming. Once we've selected a file as our default output, how do we then return the output to printing something to the user? The print function suddenly looks rather ambiguous. Luckily, there's a way of easily returning the focus of the print function to outputting to the user rather than to a file. We do that by selecting STD out, standard output. And standard output is the file handle that is automatically selected to be the default output file handle. And although it's referred to as a file handle, it's not actually writing to a file, it's writing to the back to the user, writing to the shell. So this time when we ask Perl to print out this line of text, that line is printed back to the user. The implications of this are that even when we're not aware that we're using file handles, sometimes this kind of thing is going on behind the scenes and the distinction between files and other kind of input and output devices is not quite as rigid as we may have expected having our first experience of file handles being in terms of actual files on the file system. File handles can also apply to input and output and to other uses we're going to find out later on.